One ayah that comes to mind, and it's interesting that it's one of the last ayat revealed. Surah Al-Ma'idah is one of the last surahs revealed in the Quran. And in the beginning of Surah Al-Ma'idah, Allah Azza wa told us, وَتَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى Ta'awana is commonly translated as cooperate. So the ayah says, cooperate in good things and piety. That's a rough translation of the ayah. But ta'awun in the Arabic language comes from awun. Awun means aid and serious aid. Like not just any small help, serious aid is called awun. Desperate help is called awun. And that's the same word that's in the root of the Fatiha when we say, Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka. Nasta'een, it's the same root actually, it's from Aun also. Ta'awanu, seriously help each other. Seriously help one another. Help each other a lot. Ala al bir, on all things good. Allah Azza wa did not even specify which good deeds. He just says al bir. And by the way, al bir is probably the most comprehensive word in the Arabic language for goodness. What does, what does that mean? Anything good. Anything good. If it's happening, support it. If it's happening, support it. And this is a good time also to highlight something else that'll, that you know, it'll save me from you know, reiterating it later. And that is that there's not one cause in Islam. There's not one project in Islam. It, there's a, as, you know, as diverse as communities are, the, our needs are diverse, the work of Islam is diverse. So for instance, educating children is one project. But within that project, there could be a hundred smaller projects. How are we going to educate them in the Qur'an? How are we going to educate them in history? How are we going to educate them in manners? How are we going to educate them in you know, the other sciences? How are we going to educate them in you know, uh, a character, etc, etc, etc. Right? These are each individual projects. When we talk about building, you know, uh, uh, establishing community or a counseling. Counseling for teenagers is a project. Counseling middle schoolers is a project, you know, counseling co married couples is a project, counseling seniors is a project, these are individual projects. So when you think of it like that, efforts that have to be zoned in on, zoomed in on, and then excelled in, then you and I should realize, we, me personally and you personally, we have to ask ourselves, how can I contribute? What can I serve in? What good can I do? Or what good do I think I could be a really good asset towards? Maybe I need to start something new. Maybe something already exists and I can make it better. Along the lines of what I was thinking. You see? For instance, you know, da'wah. People talk about the importance of da'wah. But da'wah is not one thing, it's a thousand things. There are efforts happening on very specific forms of da'wah. For example, you know, Brother Mujahid Fletcher, for instance, is working on Islam in Spanish. Da'wah in the Spanish language. That's a very particular project and it's very, I respect that project a lot because that's something that's much needed. And so that's one area. Similarly, you know, da'wah to particular you know, groups of people. Like you know, the Prophet ﷺ would send people to tribes that were people of that tribe to make da'wah to them, right? So what I derive from that is understanding for yourself where am I going to contribute? Really doing like, you know how people do a, go to a counselor and they like, what career should I do? You know, here's what I'm, I'm good at math, I kind of like science, I hate art, blah blah blah, what should I do? Well, you should be an accountant, you should be this or you should be that, right? They, they get counseling. Similarly, you and I should actually kind of sort of think about counseling ourselves or seeking counsel from others in our talents, our experiences, our education. How can that be used to serve Islam in some way? And it can also be, should take into consideration your interests. What are you interested in? What do you feel passionate about? Because Islamic work is something you should feel passionate about. You don't just do it like grunt work. You do it because you love doing it. You were made for it, you know? And that's what you have to find for yourselves. And inshallah ta'ala, like minds come together and they cooperate with each other. وَتَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ